Welcome to your weekly look at West Georgia Wolves men's basketball on the Coach Dave Moore Show. And hello again, everybody, with head coach Dave Moore, Mitch Gray, here for the Coach Dave Moore Show, talking about West Georgia Wolves basketball. Coach, we ran a little bit of a roller coaster last week. I know North Georgia wasn't what you were most wanting, but we rebounded with a, a, a very solid uh, get after it performance Saturday in the Coliseum. What about the win over Johnson C. Smith, Coach? Well, it was a good win, and it was a balanced win, you know, balanced scoring attack. When we have five guys in double figures. We can play with with anybody that we're going to see on the schedule. You know, it's 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 been the games where we haven't had that balanced scoring and, and issues putting the ball in the basket. That's that's made it tough for us. But um, when we have that balance, it takes a lot of pressure off our defense. Um, and, you know, we, we had a lot of contributions from guys that, that haven't, quite frankly, contributed very much. You know, Jared Simmons got his first start and was able to, you know, hit three threes for us, which was big. And uh, Dang came off the bench and got us five field goals and really gave us a boost. And uh, Willie Barnes inside was, was another uh, big key for us. Jared came out getting the first start uh, due to injury on yep. Saturday, and he came out and hit a couple of shots early. Uh, just as a layman watching, I thought that was very big for him. Yeah, he needed to he needed to see the ball going in the basket to get some confidence. You know, he's we brought him in here as a shooter, and that, and that's what we need him to do for us. Um, you know, he struggled early in the season, and um, you know he got his opportunity. And we've been talking to the guys about that. You know, when you get your opportunity, you got to be ready to seize the moment. Let's talk about one of the old guys with the group, also. In fact, a couple of others uh, in that group. You mentioned Mark Will. Uh, you know, he's got to have help in the scoring, but yeah. he's never had below twenty four in a game this year, and here on this uh, Tuesday being named Golf South Conference Player of the Week. Well, he deserves it. He's a bucket getter for us, and, and we need him to get a lot of buckets for us. Um, you know, and he's a guy that, you know, we're going to go to a lot. Um, he can score at all three levels. Um, and I think, you know, when he gets it going, taking, to the, taking the ball to the basket and getting to the foul line is when he can really, really be dangerous. You know, the, the jump shots, they can come and go, but when he's attacking the basket and can, getting to the foul line, that puts a lot of pressure on the other team. Is he one of those players you can say is a good shooter, but he's a scorer because he can score a lot of ways? Yeah, he's a scorer. He's a scorer. Um, and when the, you know, when the jumper's going good, then, it's, then he's really, really hard to deal with. Um, you know, but he's got to he's got to keep it balanced. You know, with the attack off the dribble and getting to the foul line and using his size and length inside in the paint. Um, you know, and, and then sprinkling in the, the catch and shoots and, and all that stuff. But he can score at all three levels, and he's a talented guy. You mentioned uh, the balance with uh, all the guys in double figures. One of them, your senior man at the point, Aaron Olmer, uh, got you twelve. And also uh, handed out ten dimes. Not a bad effort for him. No, great effort for him. And, and the biggest number is one one turnover. You know, ten assists, one turnover, uh, and that's huge for us. This is the first game that we've had a positive assist to turnover ratio. Uh, and Aaron being ten to one, that's that's going to help us. Um, you know, and and then for him to be able to get to the basket, and you know, he started off the game very first possession, taking the ball to the basket with a layup, and. Um, you know, if he can give us some scoring in addition to the defense and the energy that he provides uh, with his passing, um, we're going to be that much harder to beat. You had to go with seven in the game against Johnson C. Smith. How are we health-wise, anybody rebounding as we get ready to start conference play in Huntsville on Thursday? Well, you know, Carlos, is that's a season ender. Um, he's out for the year. And um, Greg James has got a uh, torn ligament in his thumb. So it's, um, you know, he's going to be six to eight weeks with that. Um, you know, so we're down with what we have. We've got, you know, eight to nine guys that are healthy enough to play. Uh, and it's just finding that right mix. You know, we had seven. The bench was a lot shorter against Johnson C. Smith. Um, and a lot of times that's a good thing because it allows guys to get in rhythm. Uh, they're playing more minutes, and it allows them to, to get into the flow of the game. And I think it helped Jared a lot getting those extended minutes. Willie helped him. Dang helped him to, you know, to where it's not – you know, just a couple minutes here, a couple minutes there. They were able to play extended minutes, which helped them get in the flow. Well, it's conference play, Coach. Huntsville coming up, UAH year in and year out. Uh, I think the Lindy's only had uh, one loss this year. They're off to a good start. Yeah. What are we looking at with the Chargers? To some degree, we look at the same thing year after year. That's their mark and their consistency. What about this team? 
Yeah, well, it's a talented team. It's a very skilled team. It's a, it's a young team, um, you know. But they got guys that are really, really skilled. You know, and I said to the said to the group yesterday as we were introducing them, you know. They played the same way they played 16 years ago when I was a graduate assistant at Christian Brothers. You know, it's just, it's the same offense, it's the same um, look of the team uh, in terms of their skill level. They got 13 guys on the roster that have hit a three in a game. Um, you know, so the three point shooting is is elite for them. Um, we've got to do a good job of um, playing physical, using our length and our athleticism to bother their shooters, uh, and we got to turn it into a um, a physical game attacking the paint going after them in the paint in the post up uh, and also on the drive and that, that's going to be a big key for us so it's uh, a big challenge coming up there and before we talk here again we're also in the conference at home with shorter this is a big first week for us isn't it yeah you know back to back um conference games for the first time all year and uh, it's important to get off to a good start everybody's zero and zero at this point you know in the conference and um you know we want to take them one at a time you know, in a good league like this, you just got to take them one at a time and um, try to take advantage of your opportunity each night. It'll be the Wolves against the Chargers of UAH Spragans Hall coming up Thursday evening. The link to the broadcast will be right there on the website at uwgsports.com. I'll be up at the roof giving you the holler, and we'll have Wolves basketball coming up or women tip at 630. The men a little bit after 830, and it's conference play already. Coach Dave Moore, best of success up in Madison County this Thursday night. Thanks, Mitch. The West Georgia Wolves and the UAH Chargers. We'll be here next week to talk about that and the conference home opener with Shorter on the Coach Dave Moore Show. Thanks for joining us today, and go Wolves.